Let's go, Scotty. Off the bat, we've got Junkin Masters in the blue, iced up on the orange side of the field. And now we've got Junkin pushing on their offense immediately opening up this game. Yeah, just some good early cycling from Junkin Masters, getting the ball deep into iced up zone. But we've seen iced up score in bunches, finding goals at critical times. There was an infield pass from Cynical to Tasek. Just a little bit too high out. Couldn't get anything towards the front of the net. Here's Info going to take us through the air. Tried to go over the top of the flip reset. Lost the handle. There's a good challenge there by Dalton to force it back to midfield. I like this cut right here by Info, but the demo is even better. Deleting people from the field, right? You got iced up trying to keep on offense, defending that midfield line, doing a great job of making sure their cars keep the ball on in between their teammates. But those deletions coming through at those key moments in the midfield are going to make it very difficult for them to keep it going. But an open net in front of them. Can they score it in time? And they do as the gates close. And that is what a demo does. Is sometimes it throws your own rotation out of whack. Cynical ends up missing the touch there. It's left wide open in front for Zapatos to slap it home. Nobody else from Junkin Masters has the chance they get there. So just a little bit over a minute gone. First strike does go to iced up, and we're at it again as they do win the draw, but then Cynical going to pick it up, looking for the front of the net. Has Dalton coming to the front. Can't get the touch, though, to turn it on for a shot after a great save by Zabatos. Look, that was the best time to go for it if you're Jungle Masters, right? You had Volterra in front of that whole group, the only person who could really touch the ball, even with three people in the net, and Volterra had zero boost. He had a goose egg in the tank and he could not go at that any faster than he did. And yet, all three players on Junkin Masters just had a failing to get there in time. But here's an opening and the gates close right in front of them. Iced up, keep it alive. Indeed they do, and now they go to the attack. Voltero gets it past one, 50 with Cynical. Zapatos, they're a rare miss. Tasek gonna take it up the wall here. Loses the handle, but Cynical picks it up from below. There's a 50, they're trying to penetrate that attacking third, but can't do it. And so, once again, just a solid midfield battle here. Finally, Tayset getting it in deep. Will steal the boost. Does get a bump, but doesn't have any team support. So that is just a free clear out for Iced Up. Yes, Impo doing a great job of getting past not one, not two, but all three players on the Junkin Masters' side. The man was well in control of his ball and kept it under that control all the way down the field getting the clear and now his team on the offensive side and not leaving it anytime soon they are keeping this ball on the blue half and the midfield battle is finally being lost and Junkin Masters are able to switch possession after a lot of hard work in the midfield yeah but after they do that hard work they're low on boost they're having to back off to try to restock yeah. So that leaves one member of Junkin Masters 4 to try to press the attack. No team support, no shots. It's just three shots to one in favor of Iced Up after three minutes of play. But here we go with Iced Up. They've got two demos in the front of the net. Dalton left all alone. Dalton has no chance. Zapatos with a second. Zapatos is going to get that any and every time. He got one demo in the back. Voltero got the other one in the front. And Zapatos getting that nice flat body low enough to pop the ball up, but keep it strong enough to stay in the net. And there it is. I stuff showing us why they continue to go deep in these tournaments. Two goals on the board already. Only two minutes remaining here in game one. They're starting to try to run away with this, Scotty. That they are. Oh, There's oh, another oh, one. Oh, what oh. a ground pinch by Voltero on the pass from Zapatos. Look at this perfect placement. Impo leaves it because Zapatos calls it. And Voltero just going inverted, getting that nice little tippy-tappy touch on the ball to keep it going in the direction it needs to go. What a play by Iced Up. Yeah, I thought it was a ground pinch, but just a great power shove there. 85 miles an hour on the shot. And now looking for more as Zapatos tried to go to the front, but then thought better of it as Junkin Masters were ready for that one. But now there's a pass to the front. Voltero gets wiped away by the demo, otherwise would have had a free shot. That, would, that was wide open. That, that was a needed demo. But you need a lot more than that in this game. A minute and 15 seconds remain, and the deficit is now three, Scotty. This is going to be a very difficult game to win and back on the backtracking side is Junkin Masters. They're on defense again. 
Yeah, I mean, we've seen teams make big charges late, specifically Episode 5 in the same series had comebacks of three goals and four goals in the final minute. There's one right in the front of the net. It's all three players oh from goodness. Junkin Masters hacking away at it, but somehow Iced Up keeps this one out of the net. But now Dalton with a chance. Info getting in front of that one. Tasek finally breaks the ice, but it may be just a little late. Only 39 to go. This is not enough time to come back. It's not impossible, but my goodness, the amount of times they had to knock on the door, the amount of shots that they had to put on, they put on almost five shots right there just to get the singular one in in the same movement, in the same uh, in the same offensive push. They need to have a higher efficiency, a higher turnover rate of goals per shots right there because 30 seconds remaining and your, your deficit is still by two. This is not looking very good in a best of three competition. Yeah, but testament to the defense of Iced Up, just managing to make so many goal line stands here. Oh, Five yeah. saves on eight shots. Well played by them as we get into the final 10 seconds. Junkin Masters try to get this one deep, make one final push. There's a missed touch. Tayset going to flip it up high. But again, no follow up from the team. Now Dalton tries to find Tasek that passes behind with a two goal lead and no time left. Iced up will take game one. Great job opening up this event for this team. Iced up has always put on a great show, has always shown a, a certain level of dominance in this event. All, especially in the early rounds, which is why I love it when they pop onto the stream early on because you get to see top-notch talent. You get to see top-level play from the get-go. And they, they're not going to slow down. They're going to continue to move through this bracket. They're going to continue to move through this series. And I really, like I said in the opening, I don't see Junkin Masters being able to stand up to it. I'd love to see them try. But this is a series that looks very strongly in favor of a team that is just simply faster to the ball. Yeah, I mean, it was a very even game to start off with, but yeah. once Iced Up drew that first blood, it was just all straight downhill from there. Junkin Masters got themselves a consolation goal, but they're going to need a little bit more than that to try to force out a game three. Well, it's a, when you go against strength, you got to put forth excellence and this is exactly what Dalton tries to do getting this air dribble over to his teammate but it remains in the middle of the field giving straight to Volterra what a cutoff by Cynical bringing this offense onto the field for Junkin are they going to be able to keep it Scotty as Tasek tries to slow down the play but iced up is not phased yeah, slowed it just a little bit too much. I think he was looking for a flick angle, but instead just lost the handle. But now Cynical puts it down to Tasek, and that's whipped wide. Had plenty of net to shoot at, just couldn't get the contact he wanted there. A strong offense sho offensive showing by Junkin, going, looking pretty strong for a split second, but could not finish it out, could not put the nail in the coffin. Couldn't even get a shot on target registered by the game. I, I mean, they took a few shots, but nothing that Psyonix considers a shot. And now back onto the defensive end they go. But a beautiful back pass might change that script a little bit. Can they make it happen? Here's Apatos with a pre-jump into absolutely empty space. Somehow predicts the path of the ball perfectly. Yeah, indeed, and Voltero doing a great job as well on the follow-up save. Just holding his ground right at the front of the net, just calmly sweeping that one away. And that is iced up. They are calm. They are cool. They are collected. They are stone cold. And they are looking to freeze Junkin Masters out of the upper bracket. Oh, here we go. Volterra pass from Zapatos almost getting that in. That was a beautiful opportunity, but unfortunately, Volterra made the mistake of being in front of the passer, right? When you're transitioning onto the offensive side and both you and your teammate are driving at almost full sprint straight down the field, you never, as the receiver, want to pass up the shooter. That makes the shots, the passes that they give you, have to be so forward, so diagonal, so towards the teammate, towards the opponents, and away from you. And even if you do catch up to them, the the accuracy, the decision that you can make off the ball later really goes down. Instead, you want to follow slightly behind so those options stay available. And uh, weak shots into what would be an open net kind of are a thing of the past. And speaking of weak shots, there was one from Voltero. Didn't get all of it, but Tayset got enough of it to keep it out of danger. As we are still scoreless as we hit halftime here, shots three aside. 
Zapatos and Empo, a little bit of a collision trying to bring that one up past midfield, but Voltero, no problem! Snipes from the strike! I was about to give praise to Junkin for keeping it scoreless this long, but Voltero, what power on that 73. Even though Cynical was right there, the man had no boost and no opportunity to save that away. I stub drawing first blood here in game two, and they are on match point. Oh no, but a kickoff goal in retaliation equalizes from Dalton on the side of Junkin. Yeah, if you're Junkin Masters, that is a humongous shot in the arm. Just the second man gets there just a little bit quicker than the one for iced up. And so that one goes the distance. So just in the span of a couple of seconds, we go from 0-0 to 1-1. But honors remaining even here in this game two. Iced up still looking to put this one away. Oh, there you can see always when you get that really slow air dribble out after one full rotation the flip reset starts to come this flip reset attempt starts to either be attempted or faked from zapatos he attempted it info faked it and now they continue to drive the ball down the field between each other and look at how they just utilize 50 50s utilize the size of their car utilize the angles and just bully this ball in ends up dalton bumping cynical out of the net that's a team play that they're gonna live to regret yeah and also just the placement of the initial touch putting it outside the front post forcing junkin masters to try to make the decision to defend that ball but then it ends up being, because of that bump, a double commit to that front defense. And that leaves Empo wide open on the backside for the finish. So now, just about a third of a game left here. A minute 40 for Iced Up to hold this lead and book their ticket to the winner's semis against either Special Forces or Pretty Princesses. It's Voltero going to look for a double here. It's off the crossbar. Zapatos for the follow-up. Off the post and in. That's exactly what this team does. Scotty, this is why I can't discount them. Look at that pass infield. Zoltero taking it in stride and popping it off to the backboard to himself. Full intention to go for the double. But you know what? Even though he misses the double, even though he can't necessarily nail it in, the support from the teammates, Scotty, they're going to be there for each other every time. And that's what Zapatos did right there. Getting the spacing, the patience he needed to read that play and make sure his buddy's efforts does not go in vain. The goal comes in. The win is looking even more secured right now one and three lead with uh 70 seconds remaining yeah this is basically where we ended the last game iced up holding strong here but they're looking for more they really want to put this one away in the final minute they've got all the possession in the blue side finally a clear out to midfield cynical looking to pick up possession all they could do is just bounce it lightly towards the net had a man coming but wasn't quite in position to receive a pass just yet that one almost dangerous for Dalton, but it ends up squeezed off the post by the defender. Oh my goodness, Impo had a perfect shot at the net right there, but Dalton meeting him at the point of attack in the nick of time takes that away. That w would have been go goal number four, but now still alive is Junkin Ma Masters. Excuse me. It leads for the moment as another shot comes in. Zek Techniques, this, or Tasek needs to take that away. What a save and escape but too little too late for antics like that as 14 seconds are on the clock and victory is just a pipe dream for this squad yeah as there's a touch there making two players miss from Junkin masters all i step have to do is run out these last few seconds it doesn't matter if this one goes at this point as again two goal unassailable lead with no time left and so i step send Junkin masters to the scrapyard they're on their way to the winner's semis Losers bracket, here we come, Junkin' Masters, but iced up, what a great...